Hi, welcome to today's Millennium Minute. We're uh, working our way through Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, which is found in Matthew chapters 5, 6, and 7. And we've worked our way through chapter 5, chapter 6, and now we're working through chapter 7. We started that on Monday with a discussion of the whole, do not judge lest you be judged. And we talked yesterday about how, uh, when he's talking about removing the plank from your own eye, that uh, he's saying we have to be introspective and remove that large character flaw in our life that is causing a warped view when we are trying to judge or trying to help those around us. He comes now down to uh, verse 6, and today we are going to take a look just at verse 6. So Matthew chapter 7, verse 6, and he says, Do not give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under feet and turn and tear you to pieces. Now, when we first read that, we're like, what is he talking about? Casting our pearls before swine. We may have some understanding that he's saying, don't throw our valuable things to the pigs, to those who will not recognize their value and will, in fact, destroy them. I found this quote I want to read that kind of summarizes. It says, Jesus compares the Pharisees to the dogs and swines, to unclean animals known for their f- ferocious, uh, known for their feroc- ferocity when provoked. They symbolize those who scorn and mock God's truth, which is what is expected from those with distorted spiritual vision. If you remember back to yesterday's discussion of the plank in the eye, revealing to them God's criticism of their ways would result in that truth being abused or trampled and the messenger being uh, persecuted or torn to pieces. In other words, what he's saying here is he's warning us. He's actually warning us now to make a judgment. Remember we started uh, the chapter we talked about how he's not saying never judge. He's saying not to judge in certain ways. Here he's telling us to judge. We are to judge the character of the people we are talking to. If they are the, what your Bible may refer to in Proverbs as the prating fool or the scoffer, the person who is just just such a scornful person that they are not going to listen to truth, then don't give it to them because in fact they will turn it against you. I have an example of how this worked. When we lived in California, they were having the debate uh, in California about allowing uh, high schoolers to decide their gender identity. And, uh, you know, if, a, if a, uh, a boy said he felt like a girl, then allow them to use the locker room that belonged to the girls. I had a friend who was engaged in one of those debates, and uh, I couldn't help, so I jumped right in and I pointed out that if you allow this... There will be boys that figure it out and they will say that they feel like they are a girl because they want access to the girls' locker room. I was attacked viciously uh, by people, I will say nothing short of bullies. I was viciously attacked by these people who accused me of being perverted because I had pointed this out. These very same people who believed that uh, God creating us in a gender isn't the way it works and that we can decide We're accusing me of being perverted because I pointed out that their plan would allow boys to have access to the girls' locker room. And they became very ugly. See, I had cast my pearls before swine. I had not stopped to think, what kind of people is this I'm about to engage in this debate? Is it even worth me saying anything? Because if they're not going to listen, if all they're going to do is turn and attack, we can move on. It's not worth the effort. Similarly, the people that Jesus is talking to, he's saying, you know, there are those, primarily as the Pharisees or the Sadducees, who are not going to listen to the wisdom. They're not going to listen to the words. Don't spend your time fighting with them. All they're going to do is tear you up. You see, at the end of that conversation, I made no headway trying to help those other folks understand the error in their plan 
they still supported it. Uh, but I did frustrate myself and my friend because we had been attacked so harshly. It doesn't matter the truths that are at play. As it turned out, exactly what I said would happen, happened. But they're not willing to listen. And so we're, he's warning us here. Make a judgment. If they are the character where they are not going to listen, don't try to tell them. Because all you'll do is bring attack on yourself. You know... If we think about this, he is warning us first in verse in the first two sections where he talks about being that harsh judgment that he's telling us not to engage in, followed with that get the the beam out of your own eye before you try to remove a speck from your brother's eye, and now do not cast your pearls before swine. In the first two sections, he's telling us not to be the scornful fool who think so much of themselves that they are attacking everyone else. And now here he's telling us how to deal with that person. He's saying, when you come to that person who's so harsh, so judgmental, all they're going to do is attack, you just leave them alone. Don't even try to explain it to them. Let's close with a word of prayer. Dear Lord, we come to you today. Lord, we thank you for your word, for the wisdom that you give us. Lord, I just pray that you would help us to have uh, discerning hearts and to recognize uh, those who are open to hear your truth and your wisdom and, and those who will only use it as a point of attack. I pray that you would give us wisdom in uh, who we uh, confront and, and how we confront them. We pray these things in Christ's name. Amen.